it's time for the random craft. When I first was going to do this, I was originally planning to do these. Corpses in adjacent graves and this corpse have their crafting outcomes randomized when their corpse is buried. I was originally thinking about doing these, but, but I realized there's actually a potentially more fun version. And that is these reveals a random craft when buried. Rarer crafts are more common. They're more common. Now, how do you get these? These come exclusively from Prospero's Wager. I was able to farm like 20 of these a map, I feel like, when I was doing an all-in corpse farming strategy. And I think there's a lot of potential for some great meme content here. The meme community has been looking for a craft for so long, and who am I if not to provide them with this honor? Now, what happens is we're going to put these in the dirt, and they immediately reveal that random craft, right? So we're going to see it at the end. I'll put them all down, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So if you put one in, it immediately reveals the craft. So that was a 500% increased chance of crit. We're going to lay the entire graveyard out with these random crafts that have a more likely, ah, more common for rarer crafts. Let's lay them all out and see what we get. And we'll check the craft at the end, and then we'll pick our base, of course. Our base might change depending on whether we get the option, you know, whether to do an influence or, or whatever it may be. So let's see how it goes. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, wow, that's a lot of text. That's a lot of text, okay. <laughs> Is it connected? It's connected. Okay, plus five item level, 5% 5 quality, reforge 400 times, randomize the numeric values of the base defenses and armor six times, keeping the best outcome, 150% haunted, 500% increased fizz, 1125% increased fire, 1500% cold, 1500% lightning, 600% Ellie, 1600 chaos, 1000% life, 1000% mana, 600 attack, 1575% caster, 1000% defense, 625% attribute, 500% speed, 2125% crit, 500% gem, 375 prefix, 300 suffix, fire monster, 300 scarcer, 600 scarcer, we're going down the line, Ellie, 150 scarcer, life 300 scarcer, a bunch of these random scarcers, attack, speed, defense, resist, attribute, scarcer, 250 mod tier, Reroll the values of explicit six times. The best outcome. Item is corrupted. 50% chance for corruption implicit mods. 31% chance to fracture. 25% split, split copy. 16% a bunch of these humanoid things not being exhumed. And then a minimum of two sockets as well as a 45% chance for an additional item. Okay. <laughs> and there is only one item that I would like to do if possible. And that's going to be the Shabby Jerkin. We're going to have to do the Shabby Jerkin. Shabby Jerkin is the only option for this craft. And uh, I, I, I mean, what choice did I have, really? What choice did I have? This looks cooked. This is about to be insane. This is about to be insane. May the glow of Lunaris heal your pains and aid this... Will it show up on the filter? You may house their valiant soul. There it is. There it is. Pain Cloak, Shabby Jerkin, and Behemoth Carapace. I always mispronounce this. Shabby Jerkin. I didn't see. I didn't see. Pain Cloak, Shabby Jerkin. We hit a Haunted mod. Reduced extra damage from crits. Fractured reduced attribute requirements. Fizz Reflect and T1 Hybrid Evasion Life. Defense mod with plus two trapper mine. I don't think you could get a better shabby jerkin if you ask me. This is the worst item there has ever been. This may be the greatest item there has ever been, depending on your perspective. And the next one. T3% evasion, T2 dex. T3 life per second. And again, haunted mods reduced damage from crits. How did it get worse? <laughs> Uh, 
The item doesn't even have attribute requirements. Oh, God. Here's the benefit. You can actually equip this right away at level 62. 